game. Let's go. You are now watching 14A Sports on 15MOFE.com. Oh, welcome back to the 14A Sports Radio Show. Push up. All right, our special guest of the evening is now on set. He is a uh, former uh, two, oh, uh, 2005 Army All-American, uh, first team All-State. Uh, a lot of a lot of honors coming out of Jersey. Um, you know, and then once he went to college, he goes to uh, Penn State and later played for the Philadelphia Soul in the Arena League. Everybody welcome Jerome Hayes to the program. Jerome, welcome thanks for aboard. coming, brother. Thanks for having me. Thanks for all having right, me. All right, appreciate it. it. All right, so, you know, you, you have all this success at Bayonne High School. You know, I remember going to Lincoln Camp with you, you know, yeah. a long time ago. You know, <laughs> you're like this you know, little kid, but... Did you, you, know, bu did you bully Walsh? I hope no, so. no, no, I, no. I actually was the bullied. I was the oh, bully. Oh, come on. Oh, Are you man. serious? I did not do that. No, nah, Walsh no, no, was not good. You. He was good. He was good. <laughs> No, but I'm right. You know, like, you weren't that big a kid growing up. You know, I mean, I think you're, what, two years younger than yeah, most I'm of us? Yeah, I'm 26 now. 26. Right, so, you know, like, you know, you weren't that big a kid. And then, you know, you, you hit that huge growth spurt and then, you know, just turned this athletic machine. You know, what, at what point did you know that, <laughs> well, you know. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to well, put that on my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter. Well, athletic so machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, like, you know, when did you know that, you know, football was going to be. for hair machine. Was going to be a. <laughs> <laughs> what, so when did you know that football was going to be, you know, uh, you know, a huge outlet for you? Uh, well, actually, growing up, it's funny you mentioned uh, Lincoln Camp because you know we primarily played baseball there. Yeah, <laughs> baseball was my number one sport growing up. Uh, loved baseball. You know, I didn't even think about playing football uh, until I couldn't hit a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I gravitated more towards football. Like you said, I hit a good, pretty good growth spurt going from eighth grade to uh, my freshman year, and it just came natural to me. Um, and you know, my sophomore year, I received my first scholarship offer. So it was Get just out, really, yeah. wow, wow. Yep. From where? From where Penn was the State. first one? Penn State. Yeah. A sophomore year, they offered. Sophomore year, right. Penn State and Rutgers awesome. came in the same week. So it was. Uh, it's funny because it came down to to those two uh, after the University of Florida. They, they fired their their head coach. So, uh, but we'll get into that later. All right. But uh, but yeah, it was probably my fr my sophomore oh, year. Um, Zook. 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 Yeah, Zook. Ron Zook. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ron Zook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had Ron Zook uh, never got fired from University of Florida, I would have been a Gator. Wow. Really? Uh, committed, oh, wow. committed to them at the end of my junior year. And, you know, unfortunately, halfway through my senior season, he got fired, he and his staff. So. Wow. And then Urban Meyer came in, I guess. He did. Yeah, he yeah. did. He came in. I remember meeting with him in the senior calf. And I'm just thinking to myself, who who the hell is this guy? <laughs> yeah, he's coming oh in from Utah. God. Like yeah. I don't, I don't well, know anything had, about him. He had an 11-0 Utah team with Alex Smith. Right, yep. right. Yeah. I, yeah. But they, I'm, I'm, you know, this All-American. Who is this guy? And two years later, he has two national championships. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, yeah, you know, whatever. Oh man. Hindsight you could, you could have been right. teammates yeah. with Aaron Hernandez. And Tebow. 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 More importantly, Aaron. Hernandez. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, true. if you were teammates for Aaron Hannah, you might be in jail today. So, <laughs> thank God. It all oh. worked out. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe in guns, man. I don't believe in guns. <laughs> Dude, what do you, no, seriously, but, you know, it's a prevalent topic right now. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of that whole Aaron Hernandez thing? Pretty bananas, huh? Yeah, I think it's just a rough situation. I, I, I had the opportunity to meet him once. Uh, he's a, yeah, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Don't piss him off. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what his off-the-field uh, actions are. But uh, obviously, now you do. It's murder. It's murder. <laughs> it's murder, right? Murder. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, you know, as a player, he's great. You know, I think he had all the potential yeah, yeah. in the world. It's just unfortunate that most of these guys now, you know, they come out of these, you know, high-profile schools, they get paid a million dollars, and they mess it up. And they it's think a shame. they're untouchable. Yeah, it's, crazy. it's a shame. You know, now like you know, being in the in the spotlight and stuff like that. You know, I mean, when, when something like that happens, like how you know, how would you deal with it? Like if you were ever in that. Hire a lawyer. Would it be murdered? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Not if you murder. What do you someone? do with no, the body? No, no. <laughs> Get my pen. <laughs> oh, this is going all sorts right, of stuff. Right. No, but you know, you're you're in that situation in the spotlight. You know, mm -hmm. it's tough to you know keep keep all those people that were in your life before football. You know? Right. Uh, well, I think it's it's important to never forget where you came from. So I mean, ultimately, you're gonna always have the friends you came in with. They're going to be there, you know, when you leave out. But, you know, there is – it's important to know that there's a difference. 
you know, you're now right. on a different pedestal. So, you know, if you get in trouble, it's on ESPN. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I, I was a part of that actually at Penn State. Whereas, you know, if your friend who, who's going to culinary school gets in trouble for the same thing, right. it's not going to be on ESPN. Right. I yeah. think you really just have to understand that there is a difference. So, so you said um, your, your two top choices, um, you know, you committed to Florida, then Zook gets fired, and then, then you had Penn State um, with, obviously, legendary coach Joe Paterno. Um, you have Rutgers. Um, Greg Schiano's there, yes. kind of rebuilding that Rutgers program. Right. Uh, right. Try, to, too, right? try to keep a lot of the, you know, the in-state talent. Right. Um, that you know, they. I remember gr I went to Rutgers, so uh, Shadow talked about building a fence around right. around New Jersey, keep right. the in-state talent. So, what what was the, the the deciding factor? What made what pushed you to Penn State? What how did that how, how was that process? I mean, they you know a lot of the same characteristics that Coach Zook had, Coach Shiano had. I mean, strong family background, great football knowledge, uh, complete control of their team. Both you, linebackers, like you right, said. right, right. Both linebackers and. Um, you know, the thing that separated Penn State from, from Rutgers was, number one, Penn State had a history. I could okay. go there and put on, you know, they put on, you know, Line, early 1990s linebacker, linebacker you. you. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, LeVar I actually got Arrington. an opportunity yeah. to speak to LeVar Arrington, which was, was crazy. Yeah. Uh, he was like my idol growing up. So Good dude. Uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. Great guy. He seems great like, guy. He, he, you see him uh, on TV now. Seems like a very genuine, Right, right, right. Yeah. And guy. It, it's, the things he did athletically on the field oh, was just guy. like, he was just like a god. The, right. the so, That one play where he hopped over yeah, the line. Oh, my God. The oh, LeVar oh, Leeds. There, yeah. there, there is an ice cream dedicated to that yeah. one play at Anthony State College. Yes, wow, that's great. That's unbelievable. Yes. But uh, the different, the main difference was uh, the fact that Penn State had something built already, okay. and Rutgers was in the process of building. Right. And I just saw myself getting, you know, more playing time and and acclimating to the college life faster at Penn State. Did, did uh, kind of uh, maybe you're from Bayonne? Did did leaving the area have have any uh, factor in your decision process? Um, you know, I know New Brunswick. You know, it's about a forty minute drive. It's right, not too right. far. Penn State, obviously, a couple of you know further. Obviously, uh, did, did that factor into your decision making at all? Well, proximity to home didn't really you know no, mean much to me. I like okay. I said, I committed to University of Florida, so that okay. I just uh, I, I really wanted to play high quality football. Okay, and uh, not saying that the Big East is not, but it just Penn State to me. Number one, I played with. Two of the commits from my year in 2004, uh, I played with in the All American game. Okay. So there was some camaraderie there, and like I said, it was just it was just something already built there where, you know, all the pressure wasn't on me. I can go in there and be an 18 year old kid, right, right, learn right. the system, learn from guys like Paul Puzlesny and Dan Connor, who's now with the New York Giants, and uh, you know just grow as a as a player and, and and as a man. And I felt like if I had gone to Rutgers. All of the shadow would have been cast on me, yeah, yeah. Where, right. which is where I give the ultimate amount of props to Ray Rice, who came out in the same year as yeah. me, yep. because he went there right. and put it all on his shoulders, and he was able to come out the other side clean. So, well, I, ironically, at that point, same, same, he was actually committed to Syracuse. Yes, uh, him yes. and Courtney Green were both going to Syracuse, yep. and then Plus, uh, Pascaloni gets fired from Pascaloni, Syracuse. Pascaloni, George Pascaloni, and, yeah. and, wow. and they wind up both at Rutgers. Wow. So right. si similar to yourself. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. It's yeah. Funny how things work out like that. Yeah, it, it really is. It, is. Yeah. it really right. is. So you know, playing at Penn State, you play for you know the ultimate legendary coach Joe Paterno. Yeah. Um, you know, I it seemed to me like in the media that you know at the end of his time, like he didn't really have complete control of the team. Mm -hmm. Was that the case? He had the ultimate control. Yeah. Of the <laughs> ultimate. I mean, people. 350-pound lineman from uh, Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, one of the roughest areas in PA, scared shitless. Wow. I mean, Joe really, you know, once he put his finger on that on that podium up there and shouted your name, you get you got in that legendary uh, Joe's doghouse. There's yeah, no getting really? out. There's no getting out. Yeah, no huh? kidding. No wow. getting out. I mean, from a coaching aspect, you know, a lot of people ask me, was he involved on the field? Uh, during games because he never wear a headset. Yeah. I mean, when it came down, he let his coaches coach, right. but when it came down to crucial situations, he always had his hand uh, on the game. But, you know, as he got older, he got more and more like he didn't know anything about Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, right. things like that. So, you know, he he leaned on his staff for more things. Like Which that. is funny because I think a lot of coaches now wish they didn't know about Twitter and all that. Right. Kind of stuff. Well, they, they'd rather just they wish their the players game. didn't know. Yeah. About right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. no. Look at a, a Rod. Look right. at a oh, right. man. <laughs> How do you love that tweet from Kinseko? Welcome to Twitter, bitch tits. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> he was talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been working out, man. Richie, right. kill him. <laughs> All right. so, so, you know, we, uh, we had Corey Stokes on the show one time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and we were talking about, you know, like, it, it's tough for... Uh, you know, basketball players maybe to, to make it to that next level. Now, you know, it's different in college football. I mean, there's, what, you have to have 100 guys on that roster and then, what, 53 ultimately? 53 just, ultimately. Maybe, ultimately yeah. dressed. So, you know, what was that? Like, there's got to be a lot of talent on a great program yeah. like that. Well, are, are you speaking in terms of my college or, or college, when I college, was graduating? College, college, uh, college. Yeah, I mean, everybody, majority of the people are, are scholarship guys and, and even our walk-ons there are preferred walk-ons. So yeah. they're the best of their area. Um, so there was a competitive nature from day one. Uh, I came in with Sean Lee, who was a starting linebacker for the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys now. Huh? And, Richie's uh, team. Yeah, I, I, I too am a Cowboy fan. So. Ah. All right, there we go. <laughs> We're gonna win again one day. Right, right. One, day. <laughs> one day, maybe in the next ten years. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it was complete. It was 100% competitive from day one. Guys like uh, Michael Robinson and Derek Williams, Justin King. Levi Brown, they all drove the the pace of practice. So you always had to show your best or you get embarrassed. Yeah, Robinson. He's uh you know doing full great back, things yeah, on Seattle right now. Seattle's, he is a yeah. master now. Yeah. Well that's yeah, and the sick thing is he was our quarterback. Yeah. I saw him right. one time that's lower. Right. I'll never forget. It was my my freshman year in college. He ran uh he, he scrambled out of the pocket to the right against Minnesota, ran a kid over the D B. He tore his ACL. Broke his collarbone and suffered a concussion on the same Get play. Out. Not oh. Michael Robinson, the right. defensive back. The other wow. I mean, I've, I've, wow. That's just the sickest thing I've ever seen wow. in my life. So he is definitely uh, an NFL fullback. Wow, that's not, so. How about this? So you come out of Bayonne High School, um, you know, Vet Stadium. What does it hold? You know, maybe a couple thousand at best on a big the game. The most maybe. I've ever played in. At, we played St. Peter's my junior year. You know, we were both undefeated. It was about four thousand people. Now okay, there. so now you go to Penn State. Right. Right. You go to Penn State. A hundred thousand. Uh, right. Hundred. Hundred plus. Yeah. Hundred twelve. Hundred twelve. Yeah. So, so what is that like? Running out of that tunnel, you dress. You're one of the fifty-three. You're running out of that tunnel. What is it like? Just the, hey, the, the sheer amount of people. <laughs> yeah. Like it, that's hard to even comprehend. Just yeah, the right. amount yeah. of people. There is there's nothing like a night game. We are Penn right. State. <laughs> there's nothing like a yeah. night game in uh in a State College, out, Pennsylvania. Man. Yeah, it's it's sick, man. It's euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> it's you feel you feel like uh Walsh doesn't know what that means. Feel like <laughs> I'm not up to that part of the dictionary yet. I'm still on the bees. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it it was great. I mean th that was one of the selling points too, is uh I had an opportunity to go to a spring game. Most yep. spring games yeah. get about five, 6,000 yeah. people. Yeah. They had 45,000 people there, Insane. and it was raining. Insane. So I said to myself, you know, I can't imagine. So, you know, when I got to my first Saturday night uh, game against Iowa, you know, 112,000 people all screaming for the same thing. It's just, you know, it, it like measures on the Richter scale. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, it's funny is I remember I had a hockey tournament at Penn State one year, mm -hmm. and I actually snuck on to the field there. <laughs> and I was getting chills on there, you know, just running around right. like, ah, you know, this is crazy. But, you know. There were zero people in, in attendance that night, you know? Just so, the security guard chasing you around. <laughs> you know what's funny? I did it two days in a row. Right. The two days in a row, which is Did you hard. ever get caught? Nah, not a, not a yeah. time. He clearly took Well, you know, it was, well, it was funny because I went on the first day, like, I was just with me and my mom, and then, like, I told everybody on the team that I did it. They're like, bullshit, you know, you didn't do this. And then I brought like five people with me, and they're like, "Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever!" Security yeah. laughs up there. <laughs> yeah, the well, this is back in the late '90s, right, so right, right, yeah. Gotcha. Right. So, so another another big thing with Penn State, obviously the the scandal that happened, you know, with the whole Sandusky thing and all right. that. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people just took shots at Penn State <laughs> on this and stuff like that. No, but it's got to be different for you, you know. Right. Like that was that was your home for right. a number of years. So, you know, what, what's your whole take on that? Uh, number one, it, it was extremely, extremely unfortunate. Um, you know, those kids, they, you know, they suffered, you know, for ha God knows how long. So, number one, I'm glad that, it, you know, they have some type of justice. Uh, but, but just the fact that it was a black eye over, uh, you know, pretty much a clean university. Yeah. You know, from, one, uh, again, another selling point was the fact that you could open up the, the history books, you know, and you don't hear about Penn Staters getting, right. uh, you know, Arrested for you know molestation or, or rape or guns because it just doesn't happen. Yeah. Joe has a stranglehold over over the football team. He knows his players. He's a, there's a standard, you know, and that that was the number one thing he always preached was the Penn State way. Yep. And you would never think for a second that uh, anybody involved with the you know the football program or the university would partake in anything like that. But uh, my my view is number one, I'm glad that he's in jail. 
I'm glad he'll never Definitely. see the light of day. Definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm sad for Joe that he had to go out like that because he's an incredible guy. Um, you know, that was a lot of the slack that I took just because I defended Joe. Um, and I defended him because I honestly, in my heart of heart, thinks he, he doesn't, he didn't know. No. Or, it, or if legit, yeah. Legitimately, I, I think that uh, Mike McQuarrie uh, went right. to him. He, he was the uh, I, offensive, I think, or he was right. offensive yeah, assistant he was, he who was became the, one the coordinator. Who, ah, yeah. Who allegedly right. uh, saw the act. Right, right. yeah. Um, right. I think. I think he went to Joe and said, listen, Joe, you know, I, I, I saw something in the shower that didn't need to take place. And I don't think he told Joe the particulars because I, I've been around Joe. Joe's held my son. Um, he has 15 or 16 grandkids. You know, he loves children. So I, I can't I can't think I, I can't fathom the thought of him knowing that, you know, kids were being molested in his building. Now, what type of dude was Sandusky? Like, could you tell that he was a little screw screwball? He, he, he looked he, the more and more you look at the guy, he looks weird. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Look well, weird. obviously. No, yeah. but did you sense anything <laughs> like that? Uh, but but uh, <laughs> before you said, so he obviously wasn't a coach when you were there. Right. How prevalent was he around the program, and how well did you know him? Every and, morning. And on August. <laughs> every, every morning. Well, I, I know this because I was hurt. Uh, and when you're hurt, you got to come in at 6 in the morning and get your first round of rehab. And 6 a.m. every morning, he, he lifted. Uh, so you saw him every morning. I saw him every morning that I was hurt. He, he lifted in in the weight room 6 a.m. But wow. never, you know, never any right. you know, shenanigans or nothing. anything. You know, it <laughs> yeah. just he came in, he left, he lifted, and he left. Very interesting. Yeah. That yeah, that, I, I agree that you know that Penn State program, pristine, Paterno, you know, pristine coach had an all-time wins record, and, and I agree. Right. Um, I, I think it was up, you know, it's up there. It was one of those names that of college football where you could say. You know, all right. I I, I feel comfortable sending my yeah, son, right. my I, daughter there. It's said that the kids that are playing there now, they, they're right. taking the right. punishment for, for yeah, what? definitely nothing definitely they did, no, nothing, yeah. nothing they right. did at all. Nothing. Yeah, and, yeah, you're right. And it's just one man actually crumbled that program. Yeah, pretty much. Right? And, they took and, down the statue. Of yeah, the sta- yeah. I was just gonna say that's such a sad I part. Feel I love Paterno. Yeah, but, you they, know, they took away our wins. You know, uh, I have I'll zero. I have zero. <laughs> wins. Oh man. I have four bowl rings, but I have zero wins. So. Right, you have four. Get out, what, what was the so you four bowl rings? That's very. Mm-hmm. What, so what was the best bowl? What was your favorite bowl? Where did you play? Who'd you uh, play? My favorite bowl uh, was the Rose Bowl against USC. We lost. Get out. You were the Rose. I don't remember they, that. Yeah, we went. That was the year they had Clay Matthews. Mark Sanchez, Brian Cushing, uh, Frosty Rucker. Uh, right, right, yeah, right. they they had basically the first round of that draft. <laughs> you ever and, party uh, with Sanchez? Me, no, no. I did. I did party with Ray Malaluga though. He's a good time. Ah, uh, yeah, a good time. He yeah. didn't. Mal, he he didn't have any fake girlfriends like Tao. Right? No, no. I can assure. Hey, I listen, can that's assure you. That's a Hawaiian you, island thing. Right? I can assure you that when that when we went to the club, they he were had all real. More than you know. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, More than enough. Next, uh, I guess talk about the Rose Bowl. I, I had no idea yeah, that you were in the Rose Bowl. Yeah, I, you know, we did our research. I guess not good enough research, <laughs> but, but yeah, like talk about what that was like. You know, the whole process. Um, yeah, the road, the Rose Bowl parade, and all that stuff. Right. Well, unfortunately, as a football player, you don't get to see the oh, Rose. Yeah, you don't get to see right. the parade of roses. My parents got an opportunity to see it, oh, that's awesome. and uh, yeah, my mom was like. You know, in love with it. She was like, "You guys gotta come to the Rose Bowl every year." <laughs> like, only you better wait, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> only if it was that easy. But yeah. I mean, uh, we get—they treated us first. It was first class all the way. with Five star hotel for a month. Uh, beautiful <laughs> practice facility. Any, f- any food, every, any beverage we what, wanted. What was the best piece of swag you got? Swag. Defi- <laughs> what? De- define no, like, swag. No, like, no, oh, like they, you see, they give them like yeah. iPods and iPad, that kind of thing. Um, well, you can go any direction you want. What's the best piece of ass you got? <laughs> I mean, it is California. <laughs> the Rose Bowl princess, you know, wherever, no, no, no. wherever you want to go. No, and I would also like to shout out my beautiful fiance. Uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Um, what a guy. What a guy. I was talking about iPod. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. We, we got a bunch of electronics. We, we got Best Buy gift cards. That's uh, awesome. We, we got iPods, iPads. We got uh, game systems. It's sick. Uh, we got taken care of. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's incredible. All right, so, you know, I know at Penn State, you know, the the knee injuries were a huge thing. I mean, you know, you look back on everything that you achieved. You know, you you know, this huge recruit coming out and to have the, the knee injuries happen. You know, I mean, if, if that didn't happen, you know, I mean, what, what did you see your ceiling being? Uh, at that point, uh, my junior year, I, I, was, I was really starting to feel myself. You know, I had, you know, agents calling me, sending me emails, uh, workout facilities uh, contacting me. And, you know, I thought 
like anybody else would at that point in time, you know, the sky would be the limit. Yeah. But unfortunately, I got nicked up twice. Um, the medical staff did a great, great job. Uh, Dr. Wayne Sebastianelli did a great job, both of my surgeries. Uh, George Salvatore got me back on both uh, knee injuries. And I was able to start again my senior year after two ACLs. So yeah. I'm most proud of that. Most yeah, that's so all. You, you tore your ACL twice? I the tore same, my, same my right ACL and my left ACL. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's my tough. sophomore year, I tore my, my left. My, my junior year, I tore my right. Wow. Now, one of the things, you know, uh, during the research, uh, you know, we, we come across this article and, you know, it basically says, you know, how could you not root for this guy, Hayes? You know, he's been through the ringer, you know, and, you know, everything. Uh, Bob Flounders actually wrote the article back in uh, August of 09. Yeah, they have nothing but great things to, to say about you and, and all that stuff. And, and in there, it talks about all the, all the fans that send in, like, fan mail and stuff like that. So, you know, talk about what that was like and seeing all that love from the fans. It was awesome. Like, when I say, you know, a family atmosphere, all, it felt like all 113,000 people in the stands yep. felt like they all sent me something. Really? Uh, yeah. You know, there wasn't a day where I wasn't receiving, uh, you know, inspirational motiva and motivational messages, you know, just to keep on fighting, especially after my second one. I mean, my first one, everyone's thought was, you know, bounce back. You know, you'll right, be all right. right. This happens. But after the second one, it's just like, you know. Here you, we go again. Yeah. Sports, yeah. His, yeah. sports yeah. history yeah. says, you know, all right, take him out in the back and shoot him. <laughs> so, you know, everybody was just positive. Good thing you weren't out every day. <laughs> good thing I didn't go, he good thing I, done good thing I didn't go to the University of Florida, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. We wouldn't have an interview for this. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, I'm a fan uh, of Aaron. I'm sorry. Man. I, I well, he's not watching this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's been lights out for a half hour already. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> no, nah, but the fans, the fans were very, very helpful. Uh, very, very helpful. They, they have sent me. You know, letters upon letters, just, just, you know, telling me to stay positive and come back in any uh, aspect, any way that I can. And uh, fortunately enough, I was able to come back and play for my senior year. And, and how, how did that senior year go? How, how did you? It went forward? well. You know, I was just, I battled my position coach day in and day out because I felt like I could do more. Right. And uh, he had, you know, Larry Johnson Sr., you know, father of Larry oh, yeah. Johnson. Larry Johnson. Johnson. Right. Yeah, LJ. Um, you know, but he had been around the block with that before. So, you know, he kind of slowly, uh, you know, gradually put me in. Uh, in and out of games, picked my spots, and then by about the third game of the year, I started and I, I never lost my spot again. So I was able to sack uh, Greg Paul. This was my first sack of my ah, senior year. Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? I was just gonna like you know I get off to topic sack him real. Basketball. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, oh, not hey, we're wrong. Greg Paul, Syracuse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Syracuse. thinking. I'm thinking right. somebody else. Played play basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, and then his fifth year, he went and played at Syracuse. One, uh, Syracuse yeah. one of the things I was gonna ask you because I remember actually wa we were actually watching the game one day at Clark's and when you guys were playing Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all Notre Dame fans. So you know, what was oh, that like playing? In Notre Dame? Oh wait, hey, oh, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, what was that like playing in Notre Dame? I know Penn State is you know an absolute, absolutely great stadium, but Notre Dame is the mecca of right. college football. Right. According to you guys, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but did no, they not was, treat you good there? No, no, it was it. Well, the, the fans, the fans were were, uh, were a little bit rowdy, Assholes. a little bit rowdy. But you, that's to be expected. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, happens with all these yeah. drunken uh, Irishmen. You know, we get well, a little rowdy. You got three of them up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we be but, kind to you. Right, right. No, it was it was great. It was you know one thing you grow up watching college football. You you grow up seeing the Golden Dome. And uh, driving through, seeing touchdown Jesus, touchdown and Jesus. it was uh, it was it was nice. It was it was a great trip. Uh, unfortunately, we lost that game. I recorded my first tackle though that game. So nice. I was nice. a little bit happy, but we lost. Uh, then we were able to get them the next year at, at Penn State. But oh, yeah. it was it was awesome. Some you know playing in the Big Ten, some of the greatest stadiums yeah. you could ever visit. Michigan. Yeah, right, you go to the big house. Camp right. Randall. That's Camp my favorite. I mean, I oh, they're the jump around. That's right. one of the jump best uh, college hey, traditions. Hey, yeah, a sleeper that nobody nobody would ever Hold think up. of. Let me guess. I gotta think about the teams in the Big Ten. I gotta say. Hold on. Uh, we could be here all day. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Purdue. Purdue. Yeah. Purdue well, see, on that's third down and their boiler up. Forget about it. The whole, like I said, it's like it's like just like at Penn State, they don't have as many people, but the stadium shakes. Yeah. It's like you're in the video game and you're looking around. You're like, what the heck is that? No kidding. Yeah, Purdue yeah, is the a great stadium. Shaking, so, man. so was that your favorite away stadium, or was that uh, you know the coolest place to play? What, no, what would you say? I, I would say or my, bowl games included, whatever. What was your favorite away place to play? Oh, at? Man, 
Well, if, we're, if, we're, if we're gonna go, yeah, roll, if we're gonna go, yeah, if we're gonna go, if yeah. we're gonna go bowl game, then I would say either the Rose Bowl or or the Orange Bowl. We we beat Florida State my freshman year down in Miami. Uh, but my favorite Big Ten place to play would be Ohio State. Oh uh, yeah, Yo, yeah, getting an opportunity to beat those guys down there. You know, you talking about 120,000 people oh, going you. quiet uh-huh. on the last play of the game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, nice. you could have heard a pin drop. You absolutely yeah. could have heard a pin yeah. drop. But it was it was a great you know great time in the Big Ten. All right, um, let, uh, let's take a quick break. Uh, we'll come back with Jerome. Uh, we'll finish up with some other stuff with some of the uh, – I know you played in the Arena League, and uh, mm-hmm. you're coaching at Bayonne right now and also doing some great stuff there for the kids too. So uh, let's get into the video right now, Cat Delilah. It's called Gangsta. Uh, we will we'll do this video, and then we'll come back with the rest of this interview for you guys. 14A Sports on 50 Minutes Fame Radio. Let's go. Oh, welcome back to the 14A Sports Radio show. <laughs> so subtle, so subtle. <laughs> I, I, now I feel like I got to comment on all of them all. All right, so you don't have, uh, you don't have to. So, <laughs> so we're back here with Jerome Hayes now. Um, now, all right. So after Penn State, you know, uh, have a couple tryouts with teams. I remember talking the one time you said you had a tryout with the Steelers and stuff right. like that. Any, any other teams? And uh, I had a tryout with the Steelers and I had a tryout with the Giants. With Giants. Now, now, how did all that go? Like, did they have you know questions with the with the knee and everything? That's pretty much what it came down to. Yeah. Um, you know, the Steelers were really re- they really liked me, and I, I worked out in front of Rooney and Tomlin. Well, another thing too, that's like the home the home base out there. Right, right, State right, too. right. You know, and you know, I, I reached out to my defensive coordinator, and it, through him, I was able to you know get a tryout. Uh, Tom Bradley was my defensive coordinator out there at Penn State. Yeah. And uh, they really liked me. They said, you know, if there was room for another linebacker at the time, they would have took me. Uh, but there's no de- there's no question about it. Had I not torn my ACL at least one of the times, uh, you know, I would have been given a greater opportunity. Now, do you you hold? You know, those teams, like, you pissed at them because they didn't give you that opportunity, or, you know, is it more like... If you hold on to that, you know, you, you carry that on your chest, and you, you walk around angry and pissed off at the <laughs> world every day, that I start beating people up, and it's just not good. It's not a nah. good look. So. Nah, we don't need that. Nah. Don't need that. Nah. I'm not trying to be Aaron and Andrew. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally gonna, but that was one of the things I wanted to ask you, too. You know, like, you know, you, you take any life lessons with that. It, you know, the same, it, it, it appears that, you know, you're good with that. Just, just going back to that, did you feel like you got less of an opportunity because you tore your ACL, or do you you don't think you were, you know, obviously you were a pass rusher, right? Uh, in the Steelers, you'd probably be outside linebacker, right, rush right. linebacker, coming right. off the edge. Did you feel like they didn't give you the chance, or did you feel like maybe you lost, you lost a step, you lost a half step, you maybe you weren't the same kind of athlete, same kind of player? Or, or maybe both. I, I don't know. I think I think I get, I gained back most of my burst. Okay. I was young enough, you know, like my first one happened when I was 19, my second one when I was 20. Okay. Uh, so I I still had the burst. I still had to, you know, get to the ball. That that's, that's what I was known for when I was playing at right. Penn State. Is get to right. the ball. Right. I can get knocked down six times. I'm gonna get to the ball. Right. Uh, so I don't think it was my play. I think it was more so the injuries. Right. Need the HGH, know. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, if just I just don't get Cervelli's if, back. <laughs> if, I, or if I could have, <laughs> if I could have afforded it, I probably would have. Jeez. Uh, all right, so they, you know, the that doesn't work out. So the Arena Football League comes to common. Right. Now comes to common. Comes to common. <laughs> comes to calling. Comes to calling. Call. That that's where I was going. But you know, we all look at Arena Football League on TV as some ridiculous right. gladiator type shit going on. Them. I was one of them. <laughs> you know, I mean, you got <laughs> hockey boards out there and we're right. playing football. I mean, talk about what that's like. It is extremely fast paced. Uh, it's something like. Uh, I've never been a part of before. Um, it's so physical. Uh, I think that was the part that made me want to stay into it uh, and made me come back for a second year, actually, with the soul. Uh, is that you know it's Smash Mouth. You know it's you and, and the guy in front of you, basically. Yeah. One on one, huh? Like, like a one. drill. Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. It's yeah. it's a drill for 70, 80 plays. Yeah, that's insane. It's the weirdest thing ever. I mean, I I was involved in a game where there was one minute left in the second quarter, and there were six touchdown scores. <laughs> <laughs> six. That's, so. that's great. So I guess he didn't get to the passer. Too. Yeah. <laughs> really, no time. You honestly that. have yeah. less than a second, but it was it was yeah, a great yeah. opportunity to further my career. I had a, I met some. Awesome people. Some what, some of the guys I still talk to today. Well, the soul doesn't. Isn't bon Jovi. and Bon Jovi involved huh? in there? 
Bon Jovi was there in, I think, 2008 when they won the uh, Arena Cup. Okay. But he then uh, tried to go on to the Atlanta Falcons. He wanted to take part oh, in, really? in an NFL franchise, and he just couldn't get on. So, But Ron, Ron Jaworski is the majority owner. He's, he still is. He to, still is to this day. Why he don't actually we, gave, absolutely. He Tebow, shot a Tebow. Right? He, shot, he <laughs> shot a contract to Tebow after he got released by the Jets. He told him he could be a backup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No disrespect, yeah, no disrespect to Dan Rodderbaugh. Who is a starter there? But I think uh, Tebow would have would have yeah. earned his starting stroke. That's a, now Jaworski's a great great football mind. You know, we see oh, yeah. him we see him on ESPN and stuff like that. You know, what were your interactions like with him? He is one of the most passionate people I've ever met. In my he life. is. He's, he, he gets he real excited. Like that that no TV. reservation about coming into the locker room at halftime if you're not playing well. <laughs> he and you cursing you out. <laughs> no nose kid, to nose. That's hey, all. It's his money. He, he yeah. sits. He sits in the first seat by the bench. Uh, like as you said, it's 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 set up like a hockey board. Yeah. So he's sitting where the the head coach, the head hockey coach, would be, and he just he yeah. jumps over the rail at halftime. Why change? <laughs> and he, but but with that, when you're doing well, there's nothing like playing for Jaws. I mean, nice yeah. perks out the out the uh, yin yang. So he's a good guy. <laughs> hey, it's internet radio. You could say the ass, <laughs> but uh, but no, like now, what's that like? Like with the owner right there. You know, uh, as a as a player, do you feel cowboy, more pressure? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're a cowboy fan. Yeah, right. yeah same thing. It's better two, jaws it's two, than yeah, it's two totally jaws. different. Things. It's yeah, two it's totally comparable. different things. Well, yeah, Mark Cuban kind of get right. maybe the same. Well, thing. well, it's it was better for me because Jaws is an offensive guy and I play defense, so he kind of he, he, he left unless, you alone. Unless, <laughs> unless you unless you blatantly been getting pile driving to the ground and missing sacks, he's gonna pretty much leave you alone. <laughs> But he was on the offensive guys. He really? was, yeah. He he he'll, he'll rip them quick. Yeah. Well, he I mean he was a great quarter. He was the 80, 1980 Eagle team with Vermeil. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He led that team. Um, yeah. No, that's interesting. Are you, so he's a cool guy. You still? He's cool a great guy. Great yeah. guy. I went to his golf. He invited all, the whole team down to his. Uh, ah. He has his own golf courses down there. There's about oh, three yeah. or four of them down there in Philly and in the uh, South Jersey area. So. He's a great guy. Great guy to hang around. I got to show Jaworski my 52 degree wedge. I've been killing it lately <laughs> with that. Yeah, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> but ha- all right, how about we were just Keep out of Philly. Pants. We went to a Philly <laughs> Met camp. Not that 52 degree wedge. <laughs> Where's but, this going? Uh, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm divert, divert. Divert. No, so the, so the Eagles, obviously, you know, they're fans. Uh, uh, you know, they're known throughout the country. You know, bananas, as I like to say. How, 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 the, how, the, how are the soul fans? How, were, were they're they cool? good. They're pretty yeah. much the, the same. I mean, we don't get as we uh, the arena game doesn't get as much support uh, as of late than it did before uh, the strike in 2010. They completely uh, stopped the league in 2010, and before that, it was sold out every you know every really? game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's 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 kind of in the rebuilding mode. But you know, we had some great great fans, guys and girls that you'd see at every event. Yeah. yeah, I remember that because I remember the Arena League had their their you know their Super Bowl on the ABC. You right, know, and right. these would be heavily um, back in two thousand eight. I think that's when they were at their height. They had a video game. They were on ESPN. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. were on the NFL. They were on ABC. And then uh, you know, and they were getting paid well. They yeah. were getting paid well. The Arena League was doing really well for itself. And then I guess it just you know for whatever reason it it, it lost some star power. Uh-huh. Now uh, you say you played two seasons with the Soul. Right. Well, what was the ultimate deciding factor that you know what uh, this is? Yeah, football is. Well, uh, after last season, I came home in the summertime around June, July ish, and uh, my four my four year old son at the time he he told me, "Daddy, I don't want you to leave anymore." So I said, "That's it." Don't deal, That's huh? It. Yeah. And yeah. It's, you know he's five now. He's playing little league, so and he's going to be getting into football and basketball and all that stuff. So. I just want to be there for him. There you go. Right. Yeah, I see. You know, I always see with son because Jerome actually lives across the street from me. Mm-hmm. So you know, I see him with the with the glove Jerome, all the you time. You gotta clean up the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Get this hey, guy out of there. Hey, do, I'm doing all right. He there. does all right. He does all right. We're we're in the well. You're in the waterfront side. I'm in the semi waterfront <laughs> side. So you know, you're doing much better. But yeah, um, right. but you know, I, I always see him with the baseball glove. You're always playing baseball with him. You gonna let him play football? You you worried with you know all the the way that the Wall games are coming up? To the field. <laughs> I don't have this dog. Right. <laughs> That's a beast. That's a beast. Of, you see him. That's, that was when I had the purple leash. I got a black one. He's cool. Yeah, he stepped up his game. Yeah. Right. It's, black, you know. it's not. It's I, not I bought pur- my own leash for Benson. It's not the purple bedazzled one. 
No, he no. bejeweled that himself. <laughs> Kill him, man. I specifically said that. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I have I, I have no reservations about holding him back. I'm just gonna let him go. Whatever he wants to do, I just want him to be successful. And that was that was a big that played a big part in me coming back as well as obviously I wanted to further my own education. But now he's going into. Uh, kindergarten first grade and i just want to be there for that so okay so you're coaching now you're coaching i am high i school? am this is going to be my third year actually awesome. uh coaching in, in bayon high school and it's a blast it's you know i had a lot more hair when i was just a player <laughs> and, you know, these, man these, you both man these you kids, both these you kids just retired are, like a week ago <laughs> 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 these kids are hey i'm still else. rocking in the touch league this year yes yes he but, does well he does yeah. well he's got some moves that's the most. It's more the hands. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> but yeah, well, I'm, I'm more that Jake Ballard type. Catch <laughs> <laughs> the ball and get down. Better than Hernandez. <laughs> we keep coming back to right, this. Yeah. It's the hot topic. It's relevant. It's, it's relevant. It's relevant. It's it just know. happened. But yeah, I'm at, I'm at Bayonne High School. I'm a defensive coordinator. I also coach three uh, running backs. And uh, you know, I'm having a blast. You love calling a defense. What, what do you just blitz their brains out? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Can't. Believe it or not, man, these these the teams that we're playing against, they, they run the spread now. The spread is the tough, is man. the it's the, the hot equalizer, it's huh? the hot offense now. So if you're sending six seven guys, yeah, they just cover anybody, they're man. dumping yeah. off the quick slant. And they'll take it to the house. So uh, it's fun. It's challenging, like I said, because you know we have 50 kids on the team. Every one of them has their own issue going, and right, right. and they they're in high school, so you yeah. have to remember that. Yeah. I'm used to yeah. dealing with. Hey, yeah. we were there too. Right, but yeah. I, you know, coming from from where I just got done playing, it's grown men, and you pretty much go by yourself, do what you got to do. Right. You you know, you know your job, you have to do it. These kids, you gotta tell them and tell them and yeah. tell them yeah, and tell yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So it's teaching me some patience. You ever you ever show them that state championship ring that you got? Be I like, do. Listen. I do. I wear listen. It, I wear it every Friday to every game. Uh, nice, the 2002 nice. state champions. So. Uh, they've all seen it. Someone uploaded the entire game onto YouTube. So oh, they've nice. All seen it. Oh, cool. I haven't yeah. seen it. I was away at one of the 12 colleges I've been at at the time. <laughs> so I didn't get to see it. I was drinking was actually, outside the stadium. Yeah, that was, that was actually the year after I graduated <laughs> yep. from Bayon. So I heard, I heard, too, they took down the goalpost that day and yes, walked it all did. the way down to first street. Yes, we did. Really? Yeah. I was probably blacked out. That <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. They just walked at the goalpost right over you. So how's Bayon looking? You got any talent down there or what? Yeah, we have we have several guys, several guys um, coming up, and they're all young. Um, we have a kid who's just finished his freshman year, uh, Zamir Gordon. He's he's an awesome talent. Uh, he's going to play quarterback and corner for us. You, he's getting some Division One looks. I know you guys ran uh, ran an option for for a while. He's still an option. We did. We, we you know Jamal Lord's our offensive coordinator. So nice. Yeah, really. Quarterback. You guys got it going yeah. on over there. Yeah. Quarterback nice. from Nebraska. Nebraska so we, Penn we, State. Boom. Like right. That. Two Big Ten teams now. It was all yeah, good when yeah, he was yeah, in the Big yeah, Twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know now one Saturday uh, every fall we fight each other. <laughs> but uh, no, but he, you know there's a variation of the option in there. But he's a, he's a great offensive mind and. I love coaching with him. Oh, and who's the head coach? I mean, uh, Rick my, Rodriguez. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, Rick a Rodriguez, lot of yeah. He, yeah. He's had yeah. A he was the head coach of the 2002 yeah. state championship right. team. And, and he left for a while. And yeah, left for a while. You yeah. know, his, his son was, his second son was really young. And, you know, he stepped out of the game for a little while. But he came back uh, three years ago. And we actually led that that team to a uh, state semifinals. That's awesome. And lost to Elizabeth, who was, you know, unbelievable. They were like, kind of like that USC team I played on. <laughs> <laughs> they were awesome. But, you know, it's fun. I'm having a blast. Yeah. Oh, tremendous! Yeah, coaching very rewarding, very rewarding. It experience. is, it yeah. is, it is. And uh, quick sidebar: I was, I was telling Walsh earlier. Uh, it's even more rewarding when guys like Kenny Britt uh, give back. Uh, we're actually taking 35 kids tomorrow to the Penn State football camp. Get out! Yeah, That's tremendous. And, nice. Uh, he, he was gracious enough to. Uh, you don't hear the good things. Yeah, right. 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 It seems right. like he's that always. That is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's not just him; it's with everybody. And, right. Uh, we were fortunate enough for him to reach out to us. And uh, he, he he lent out a substantial amount of money to send 35 kids to camp, including one of you know one of them being his younger brother, who's a sophomore now. That's right. um, so it was a great great job by Kenny, and, and I just wanted to get that out there. You, nice you're, fr show. you're friends with Kenny. How's he doing? I am. I am. He, he's doing he, well. You know, he he's had the injury well. last coming, year. Coming he's, back, he's coming back. It was unfortunate because he, he the shelf for Kenny is unbelievable. He's always been Absolutely. pretty much the greatest athlete I've ever seen with my own two eyes. Right. Now, I've seen him stand. In his socks and dunk a basketball, hmm. you know, from the straight vertical. Oh, you want me to go do that? He's got his flip flops on, though. We lower the huffy. I don't think with a. 
I need a 12 foot ladder to dunk on a 10 foot right now with these knees. But, I hate, man. I hate. But yeah, you, you, like I said, you you never hear the good things about them, and, you, um, and so this is one of the. You know what? Who better to do the exclusive article on all this Kenny for greatness than? Yeah, you know, Betty on Zone 14A Sports. <laughs> Might have to put that on there, you know? Absolutely. No, uh, absolutely. absolutely. It'd be a great yeah. job. For sure. Yeah. All right. So, you know, we have definitely yeah. exceeded the uh, <laughs> the airtime tonight. But, you know, I, Jerome, this is a tremendous interview, you know, from everything from, you know, Penn State to, you know, just Rose the whole Bowl, process yeah, yeah. of how everything goes to the coaching now. Absolutely. I mean, Jerome. you know, this was very informative, very great. I mean, nothing held back. In all stuff. honesty, this was uh, and not to take away from any of the other guests we've had. They've all been tremendous. This is by far my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. It's the most interesting. Uh, just, sure. just yeah. you know, I, I, you know what? Part of it was I didn't realize uh, the success you had when you were your college, your Rose Bowls and your yeah. bowl victories and, and all that. Your take on Paterno, you know, very Worse. interesting. Yeah, that with, was with, great. With all that. that was incredible. But no, but you know what? Uh, we really want to thank thank you for coming on. Thank you for staying late with us. And, uh, <laughs> I appreciate, you, know, I appreciate awesome, you having me. Uh, at Walsh, if you hear me getting beat by my fiance later. <laughs> Oh man, I'm staying out too late. Just knock on the door, come get me, bro. It was my fault. It was Walsh's fault. I'm gonna send her over there. Let her deal with you. All for a good cause. He protects yeah. himself with that purple leash. <laughs> with the gemstones. Come on, gemstone. it was not gemstones. Oh. It was just the way the sun was right, flaring yeah, off yeah, the yeah. It was your keys. <laughs> Ah, oh, awesome. That was awesome. All right, so uh, special thanks again to uh, Jerome for being here. The Coles News Network, as always, splendid as always. And uh, remember, tomorrow we got the NBA draft coming up, so watch out uh, for that. See how wrong we were with our predictions. <laughs> yeah, well, and, what else is new, right? <laughs> nah, nah. Getting used to that one. <laughs> You and know, you know, uh, just I love talking about this. Walsh uh, in his final four in his bracket, two of his final four teams were knocked out in the first round. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. yeah. Who are those teams, if you don't mind? Georgetown in New Mexico. I had Georgetown in my final four. Man, oh, I yeah. thought Otto Porter Jr. See, was on the I keep saying uh, Otto yeah. Porter should be the number one pick. Yeah, but he's been Walsh. He'll, he'll, so. I think he'll, <laughs> <been Walsh>. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll go top five. I really do. I have no idea. I don't well, think Noel's well going to go one. I, I, you I don't. Think, Injury history. I just don't think he's going to go number well, you, one. I mean, who better that? Seriously, right? Who better but wow. but uh, I, I think it's a deep draft. I just don't think. I think it lacks star power. There's no elite yeah, guys in the top, at the top five. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So I don't know who you like one tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm a big Trey Burke fan. I know he's not going to go number one because the, uh, right. the Cavs already have Kyrie, uh, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Yeah. But uh, I'm a big Trey Burke fan, so wherever he goes, I'm going to follow. Oh, All right. Nice. nice. Wide nice. range. Wide range for a lot of the players tomorrow night. It's going to be right. a fun draft to watch for sure. But uh, all right. We'll take it out of here for the night. We'll be back next Wednesday. Anything else, guys? Nah, man, Jerome, once again, thanks for coming yeah. on, man. Had a blast. Thank, Thank you, you for man. coming. We Definitely. are Penn State. Thank we you. are Penn State. <laughs> we all? all right. We're 14 Age Sports. We're on 15 Minutes Fame Radio. I spent, uh, shit, I screwed it up. Thanks to HD tonight for the... For the tremendous work as All always. Right. You need to take a second. Yeah, yeah. I, we've had enough. <laughs> Terrible. No one... End tape. End tape. <laughs> <laughs>